if one goes to the basics, uh, a very famous Canadian vice chancellor, university president once said that, you know, in our world, uh, much more is talked about than is done. It's our responsibility in our time of leadership to make sure that things are done. Uh, and I, I'd lost, uh, I, I mean, I see these very broad university consortia are certainly important because you, you get to speak to colleagues and you know what's going on in other parts of the world. Uh, but I hadn't, I hadn't seen much of depth uh, come out of them. Uh, and I became interested in the idea of depth alliances with like-minded institutions, uh, which would strengthen global outlooks uh, uh, around the major issues of the planet uh, and bring uh, a level of resource uh, that couldn't be brought by a single institution. Now, one could argue, why not just do that nationally? Why not have uh, the great University of the South of England do that? Um, I think there are clear advantages uh, in global mindset uh, to linking up with like-minded institutions in other parts of the world. Uh, and um, survival is the issue, uh, because in the end of the day, it all depends on good academic outputs, um, drawing in enough funding uh, to support them. Uh, but I think with a high enough level of ambition, uh, with engagement, uh, not just cosmetic, but real engagement of the university community uh, across, uh, in this case, three continents with PLUS, uh, and with clear focus uh, on the major problems of the age, uh, with a level of contribution that draws support from outside parties, including government, uh, the chance of ongoing viability uh, is really strong. 